Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and Steam is finally back. So that means Portugal is finally back. All right, this is episode 37. Welcome, everybody, episode 37. Last episode, we took Ile de France and, Anj and Anjou from France. We also took Gwynedd from Wales. And that has us at a staggering 100% overextension. Don't worry about it, though. We're going to sell the main source of overextension, Ile de France to Alan Khan. He has claims. Oh, delicious claims. So he can core it for us. He's currently coring... Oh, shit. I didn't realize that he was currently coring Orléans. I thought he was done. No, sir. He was not done coring Orléans. So he won't buy Ile de France for a little while. I hadn't thought of that. But he does still have a claim for 12 years. So I guess that's not the end of the world, but it did surprise me. I should have checked to see if he was done with Orléans. He is not. So hopefully he'll finish soon-ish. My god, I should have checked that. Coalition, whatever. Watch the Coalition War start, like, right now. Because why not? Uh, yeah, let's check. I'm guaranteed he won't buy it because he's... Oh, declare. Why is there even a button to declare war on your vassal? I never want to declare war on my vassal. Fuck, fuck you, game. <laughs> no, he won't buy it because he's overextended. Yeah, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. You want to buy it, Champagne? You don't have a claim or a core or anything, but you want to buy it? You know. No, he's like, well, that's a really good province, but no, I won't buy it. Uh, however, Provence will buy Anjou because they used to own it. There you go. He's broke, though, so there you go. We'll get rid of Anjou. So that's a little bit of overextension taken care of. Great. And then we can also sell him Maine. But first, France will have to move his capital up here to one of these two. So, yeah, that's fine. He's allied to Bavaria, Aragon, Venice, and Utrecht. So I guess what we do is go for Utrecht or Aragon. Can we get Aragon out of the coalition? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Mr. Superman is not here. No. I really wish there was someone outside the HRE, other than Aragon, that we could fight, but no. Well, Venice, he's not in the HRE, but he's in the coalition. Oh, we can, we can get Venice out of the coalition. And he's got shit for allies. Yeah, perfect. All right, Venice, you're going down, bro. You're going down. That is our ticket. Oh, no. Oldenburg joined the coalition. Everybody hide your kids. Hide your wife. Oldenburg joined the coalition. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. He's still coring. Actually, the dude moved. The dude was over there, wasn't he? I think he was over there, and he moved over to this side of the river. What? Maybe, maybe I'm crazy. I might be crazy. But we are coring Gwynedd. It's going to go pretty quickly. It's at 9.5% already. And we're currently annexing Normandy. Great. Uh, who's next on the chopping block? Well, I wanted it to be Alençon, but it looks like that's not going to be possible for a little while. Uh, can we get into war with Tuscany at some point? Let's see. Poland, Austria, Switzerland, and Savoy. Poland, you're a potential customer. Except for the whole Denmark thing. Hmm. Indeed. Can we get back from Denmark? Yeah, come back from Denmark. 93 is pretty good. Who else? Tuscany, Aragon, Lithuania, Denmark. Lithuania, really? Well, that'd be nice. Where are your allies, Lithuania? Tell me your secrets. Just Poland. Oh, that's bad, actually. So, yeah, we're going to have to attack Poland. So how do we do that? Can we get a CB on Poland? Would you like a, a loan? Oh, is that war with Russia? He's winning a war against Russia? What? Hold on. Who are you fighting? Poland, Denmark, Sweden, Oh, he's fighting Denmark and Sweden. That's what's going on. Shoot. Yeah, we can't do that, though. We're going to have to pull Denmark into some bullshit war. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that. Oh, well. Yeah, we got no CB here. Would you like a loan? Oh, he would. Mm, okay. Well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and give him a loan, then. Maybe a little 8% loan for 12 months. 200 ducats. Uh, yeah, we'll make 150. There you go. Big old loan. And then we have to find a, a bullshit war that we can get Denmark into. I don't know. Utrecht? Who, who do we have CBs on? 
Wow, we have lots of CBs. Trade dispute on Austria, Oldenburg, Savoy, Tuscany, Netherlands, and the Maya. Maybe Denmark would join us in the war in the New World. But the Mayans are in the coalition, so I don't want to fight the coalition. Aragon, Bengal, Vijaya. Oh, he might join us for a war in India, but I doubt it. Hmm, France, Norway, England, and the Netherlands. Netherlands. Can we get the Netherlands out of the coalition? No, but the Netherlands is in the coalition, yeah. Can we get them out of the coalition? Maybe. Maybe, baby. We can try. Otherwise, that's 150 ducats down the drain, but... Yay! Colony self-sustaining. Great. And forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think all of this goes down to Colombia. Am I right? Yes, that's all Colombia. All the way down to the Incas. Perfect. Um, colonize. Let's see. Arica. No, that's almost done. Man, look at Norway down here. Fuck you, Norway. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah, we should fill this shit in. Damn it. All right, yeah, fill it in. What a waste. What a fucking waste, right? Is there anyone that we can do a bullshit war on? Wow, the Teutonic Order owns Bornholm. That's awesome. Maybe Riga? Yeah, can we do Riga? Riga's perfect. Denmark would love to join a war on Riga. It's alone time, Mr. Riga man. Riga man. France moved their capital. Yeah, it, it says to Maine, but he means from Maine to Calais. That's fine. I don't care. That means we can take Maine in the next war and give it to Provence. And then we can annex Provence and get rid of that chunk of southern France that we no longer need. Aquitaine. Does not need a loan. Shit. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Two hundred bucks, you got it. And uh, yeah, we can take a look at the loan menu in here. It's in here somewhere. Loans, bingo. Okay, there we go. There it is. Expires uh, June of next year and August of next year. So we'll just keep an eye on the date, June and August. See what comes up. Teutonic Order will seed plot. Okay, good. The war's over. The war is over. Poland wins. Teutonic Order loses. Hip, hip, hooray. And Mecklenburg declared war on the Teutons. Oh, fabulous. Everyone's declaring war on the Teutons. I love it. Oh yeah, you guys can merge. How are we in South Africa? Did I pick you up yet? I did not. Let me pick you up. I forgot about that. We're going to move you over this way. Yep, go to the Maldives. Currently converting Kent. Ooh, stable government. Admin. No, we'll lose the prestige. I never want to lose uh, tech points. If I have a choice to lose tech points or prestige, I'll lose the goddamn prestige. Tech points are immaculate. Really, they are. All right. Zapotec left the coalition, so we might go in and annex him. Just because we can. But we have a truce. No, oh, no. Oh, it's our stupid... Oh, it's our colony that has a truce. Damn it. Aztec is westernizing. All right, fuck it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Not going to worry about it. Opportunity lost. Dun, dun, dun. But we could just vassalize the Aztecs. I mean, that's not the end of the world. Yeah, the dude moved back to... Look at this. He moved to the other side. He's teleporting back to back and forth across the river. What the f Look at that. He did it again. Fucker. I, saw, I caught it on screen this time, dude. Is it because of winter versus summer? Is it like the first six months of the year you stand here and then the other six you go over there? I need to know the migration patterns of the diplomats. I need to know. Rebels... Whatever, get out of here. 
Some guy named Pimento. You can keep your Pimento. And I'll raise you a natural olive. Anyway, yeah, let's get cracking on these Diplos. We need two more, which is 800 points total, before we can start attacking for... I'll keep him before we can start attacking for our next uh, achievement, which is trade hegemon. So weird seeing Ile de France with green on it. I love it. Fucking love it. Are you done coring? Oh, he moved again. This guy's like just circling around the city. Sometimes he stands under the flag shadow. Sometimes he stands over here next to the town. Now he's next. Oh, what the fuck? He moves. He fucking moves. Oh, what a revelation. All right, both the loans are still intact, so it looks like he may not pay back either of them. Then the main concern we have is to see if Denmark will join us in a war against Riga. Surely he will join us. He has a claim on Riga. He would love us to attack Riga. Uh, during that war, it will be past leadership to the Livonian Order. And he will probably pass leadership to the Teutons, but maybe not, because the Teutons are currently losing a bunch of wars. So it could be that the... Uh, oh, Bohemia's in that war. Great. It could be that the Teutons will not take leadership, and that would be very easy for Denmark to come in here and just rape all this shit. Uh, if possible, we'll give lands to Denmark in the peace deal, because I want him to grow. I want him to annex Norway. Uh, at the same time, during that war, while Denmark is helping us, then we can declare on Poland, which will bring in Aragon and Tuscany. Fantastic. Invade Tuscany, take Naples and Ancona. Can I fabricate on you guys? Really curious. N well, yeah, but not for the stuff that I want, so there's no point. Uh, we'll take Naples and Ancona, and from Aragon we'll take Abruzzi and maybe Barcelona. Oh, he's converting it to Protestant. I mean, to Catholic. Yeah, please convert that before I get there. How far, how far is it? He's 61% done. He'll finish. It says it'll be fully converted in December. Oh, he's almost done. Wait a minute. If he's 61% on a base 13... What is the... Is the AI hacking? The AI must be hacking. Look at that. It's a base 13. It's a huge city. He's at 61%. He's just over halfway. And it says he's going to finish in a matter of months. That's insane. Anywho, uh, hopefully he'll get that converted. We'll take that and this, and that'll be it. Then we can then we can annex Naples. Man, that'll be great. So let's get relations up with Naples. Uh, that's going to take a long time. Yeah. A next vassal penalty. Oh, well. At least we'll have all the land. Even if we, even if we can't annex him right away, at least he'll have all the land he needs to annex. Bohemia has been re-elected. That's great. Nobody wants Austria. He's a terrible emperor. But specifically, what we're aiming for here is to be attacking people outside of the HRE. That way we're not constantly fighting the fucking Emperor. Alright, it's June. You gonna pay me back, Poland? Looks like he's not gonna pay me back. He has until uh, the 27th of this month. Don't do it. Don't pay me back. Oh, I should, I should land some troops in Naples. On the boat. Here it is. Oh, shit. Is he going to pay back? He didn't pay. All right. Yeah. You deadbeat Poland. How could you no pay? Son of a bitch. All right. Who else? Who else is out there? Uh, Brittany, come back. I don't need to worry about you. We didn't take that province. I probably should have taken finished her, but whatever. A double revolt in Gwynedd? Wow. That sucks. I mean, at least we're winning. I think we'll swap these guys. You're a little more healthy. And we're getting way more revolts in Gwynedd with 13% than we are up here with 0%. Um, yeah, then just stay here. Is there... A oh, yeah, we can support 51 troops. Just leave the whole army there. All right, Riga, are you going to pay me back? You got, what, two months? One month. Next month, Riga. Your time is up, Riga. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Yeah, Bohemia is just wailing on the Teutons. That's awesome. Might want to dock up our trade ships. You want to keep it? You got it. Cancelled loan? Riga! How could you? Wait, was it... It was Riga, right? I think it was Riga. No, was it Livonian Order? Oh, shit! I sent the loan to the Livonian Order. My bad. 
Oh, whatever. Denmark will join anyway. It's fine. Okay, Denmark, join in. Yes, Denmark's in. And yes, the Teutons, they're so weak right now. They just lost a war to Poland, and they're currently losing a war to Bohemia that they don't even, they don't even take over leadership in the war. They're so weak. Great. All right, we have troops ready to go. Uh, let's pick up another stack. Actually, no. We'll need two stacks here for Aragon, so let's get on the board. We have three generals, right? Yep, we're over by one, but that's fine. We're, we're way over on military points. It doesn't matter. We will need help over here with Tuscany. I'm sure he has a good army. So let's see. Can we steal troops from anywhere? Could just steal some of these guys. Uh, yeah, put the boot down. And I think we'll steal those guys. Fuck it. You know what we could do is take some people from here. We don't need more than 10. At least I don't think we do. 424503. Four, you know what? Merge these guys. And the reason we did that first war with Livonian Order is so we can declare on Poland and Denmark can't join to, can't join against us cuz Denmark and Poland are allies. This way, they can't. 424. Four. No, 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 no. 5-1. 5-1-4? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll take the... Yeah, we'll take the 10 guys. Come on up. Put them in Andalusia, that's fine. Probably don't need 40 guys over here, but I guess it, if we bum rush Aragon, then we can also bum rush Tuscany, but we'll do it in two separate waves. Uh, oh, we can pick up you guys. No, you're still converting. Where's our fucking fleet? Like, you know, our attack fleet? I assume they're somewhere. No? Oh, they're docked up in Poitou, okay. No, I want you over here, because that's where Aragon's fleet is. He's got 12 galleys and 10 transports, but we got way better than that. I'm sure he'll buy an admiral, but I don't really care. Now, what do you guys have? You have a decent fleet. Look at this. He's got 8 trade ships, 11 galleys, and 12 transports. <sighs> yeah, let's take our galleys. I mean, let's take our trade ships. Oh, no, no, no. Let's take our trade ships. Put our trade ships over there. And we'll, we'll bunch everyone together for this. We'll need it, probably. Do we have any other trade ships? No? No more trade ships? Okay. Well, I'm crazy. It's not the first time I've been crazy. Hey, we got new cardinal. Go us. Oh, Denmark. Get out of here. Who do you think you are? I'm the man. And yeah, Denmark should have no trouble invading all this stuff. With Sweden and Norway helping. Losing CB on Poland. Yeah, but... I'm just waiting 21 days so I can declare war. I'm not going to lose the CV in 21 days. Ottomans and next Trabzon. So the Ottomans are massive. Whoa, we may want to try to get an alliance with them. If we can get in their pants, they would be insane amounts of help. But that eh, probably won't happen. All right, Poland. Hey, Poland, it's your lucky day. Denmark cannot help you, Poland. You're going down. Time to declare war on Poland. Hey! Aragon's in. Of course they're in. Poland remains war leader. Tuscany's in. Great. It's almost like we planned this. Let's go to Naples. Let's see if we can get Naples to help us siege some stuff. This is perfect. Oh, we still have 16 guys on Corsica. I should pick them up too. Well, I'll get these folks first. You know what? I'll take, I'll take half of them. That'll work. Baroque music. I think this helps prestige. Am I right? Uh, yeah, yearly prestige for 20 years. Nah. Don't need it. We have all the prestige in the world. Don't need it. Okay. We're going to stand in the mountains. He's got a he's got a shit general. He's got a 2-0. We have a 3-1 and a 2-5. We should be fine. 
Uh, in fact, can I swap these around? What the fuck are you? You're a zero three. Get the fuck out of there. Put the, the shitty guy in here and put the good guy over here because we have less troops over here and Tuscany's units will fight better than Aragon's units. So, uh, actually, he's just going... Oh, he's going to Milan. <laughs> Fine by me. You go, girl. Are you done coring? Oh, he just finished coring. So I could have sold him Paris. He could have been coring Paris during this whole war. Shit, oh, whatever. His claim doesn't go away for 12 years. 11 years. So we should have plenty of time. Okay, stay there. Yeah, we have a nice fleet here. He's not going to undock into that. Okie dokie. What is this other war? He's in some other war, too. Lorraine. What is it? Lorraine Palatinate Trade War. So Lorraine declared war on the Palatinate, who's allied to Aragon? Yep. So Lorraine is now fighting the Emperor and Aragon and Croatia. Whatever. Yeah, if he just wants to siege stuff, I'm okay with doing that too. My vassals will blot out the sun. Alright, let's pick up half of these clowns. We already stomped our foot down. Oh, there goes Normandy. Hey, Normandy. We already stomped our foot down, so that's fine. Two, two more heavies. Nice. It's actually really useful. And some more trade ships. Great. And he has nine dudes over here. That's not so amazing. Why don't you go to Roerge? Alright, I want... No, we'll take the 12. And I want you to come over here, and then we'll split off... We'll probably just take the whole fleet over. Stay safe. Naples fleet is out here doing God's work. Good job, Naples. Where is that Tuscan fleet? If he's going to the, to the Gulf of Almeria, we're going to have to back off. Don't know where he's going. Need to protect our transports. But he, if he's coming down here to intercept my transports, we could be in for a world of hurt. Yeah, get relations up. Who else should we get relations up? Nah, England's not going to matter. Austria? No, nah, they're not going to matter. Netherlands? Netherlands could be a decent ally, actually. Sure, why not? Because we're going to have to break free from Denmark's alliance at some point. It's just a matter of preference, really. Russia's in this war? What the fuck? Oh, Russia's at war with Mecklenburg. Well, there you go. Russia's allied with the Teutonic Order, so there's that going on. Yeah, these are cancelled loan CVs. They don't really have a specific goal. Is it battles? No. it's just. Oh yeah, it is battles. It is. It is show superiority. Yeah, you can have access. There you go. Let me make sure all the check marks are turned off, because I don't want my vassals standing on my face. Oh, that one was on. Off. Off. Okay, good. Oh, Poland's trying to steal Cardinals. I, oh, God, that guy's 61 already? Jesus. These Cardinals, they're just getting so old. Okay, group up. I think we'll just stick together, make sure everybody stays safe. Uh, pff, what the fuck is Naples doing? I don't know. Naples, you're in my war, right? Yeah, so go invade. These are your territories, Naples. Easy. <laughs> we. Yeah, the sixty-one-year-old guy. I think I'm just gonna ignore him. It's just so old. Go dock up here. Alright, uh, put the check mark on and let's go to a bruisey. Livonia wants out already. Holy shit. What, con concede defeat or an old treaties or something? What are you doing? Concede defeat. No. Autumn has declared war on Karashia. Karashia who has no allies. Because, you know, when a nation gets freed in EU4, 99% of the time they just sit there and do nothing until they get annexed. 
Sometimes they do stuff, but usually they don't. It's a little disheartening. Alright, 16 more motherfuckers. Sounds good. Let's go straight, straight to Bari. And we'll just double up over here. Might as well overload this side, because I think we're fine in Aragon. All of our vassals are just flooding Aragon. Uh, but over here is a different story. Okay, good. So we're going to make sure the checkbox is off. And we lost the siege progress. But checkbox is off. Let's get out of the way. Naples has a core here, so I would prefer he would siege it. Mm, turn that off. Damn it, Naples. Siege, siege your core. <laughs> Naples, so stupid. All right, Erika's done. Good, great. Siege your core. Naples, siege your core. I'm sending him thoughts through my computer. Naples, siege your core. Siege your core. Let's go back to blockading his fleets, because that looks like fun. There we go. Yes, he's going to his core. Great. Now, do any of my vassals have claims on any of these guys? Let's take a look at Provence. No. Naples does not have claims, but he has the one core. Alencon has nothing. Champagne has nothing. Yeah. The answer is no. Nobody has any claims on any of these guys. So how's Denmark doing? Well, Sweden landed some troops. Naples is up here. What the fuck, Naples? Why not? Naples is everywhere. He's like, fuck Italy. I want this. I'm going to the Baltic. Italy's boring. Uh, we're going to split in half, I think. And send this army forward. Lost our marriage with Champagne. Do we need that? Not really. We'll get it back later. In the meantime, though... Oh, we should probably go help our buddy. I'm coming, Alan Khan. I don't know why he's in there by himself, but I'm coming. I'm going to get you and your little dog, too. Nope, one of our conquistadors died. Probably, probably the one that came to this battle. It's okay, though. We got a second one. Oh, no. They're sieging Milan. France got a new ally? Where? France allied Switzerland. Well, that does us no good. Switzerland's in the HRE. Uh, yeah, get me another... Oh, God, our tradition has dropped. Wow, our tradition drops really quickly. 3.3 .3 per year. Well, 1.5. I'm not complaining about that. That's for damn sure. Uh, follow him to Navarra. I can't go there. <sighs> of course. All right, I'm gonna get out of the way. We're gonna go to no. Let's go this way. Let's go to let's go to Tolos, and actually, you can just sit in Perenio. Hey, we got a new cardinal. That's the stuff. Oh, his navy's out. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Fire. Now, the nice thing about this, we declared war on Poland. We did not declare war on Tuscany or Aragon, so each of them can peace out individually. Uh, Lithuania might even peace out individually, although I doubt it. He's got no real pressure. Yeah, he's not going to peace out, at least not for a long time. Under attack. We have a general. We have a better general than he does. And he rolled his... Oh, we both rolled zeros. What are the chances? Get in the battle. Uh, differences here. He has extra discipline and extra morale that we do not. His tech is 16. Our tech is 17. But that doesn't seem to matter because he's whooping our butt. You can see by the starting morale, he's whooping us. Here comes our backup patrol. Okay, we sunk their fleet. You sunk my battleship. We sunk their fleet. 
Uh, just go heal up right there, it's fine. Alright, group up. GTFO. Just gonna get out of the way, really. Alright, there we go. Man, we lost a lot of troops there. Oof. Even with better tech, it just didn't matter. Uh, yeah, just go back. Let him attack again if he wants. Although we could bring over more ships. I mean, more dudes. No, we could do. Are any of you actually hurt? Like, really hurt? No, you're all perfect. All right, um... Let's go kill this navy if, if he's going to stay out like that. That's pretty bold. And we can ferry over this... Oh, we don't even need to ferry him over. We can just walk over. I forgot. We can just walk over there. We don't need to ferry him over. Fuck. He's walking to Cremona. So let's go there. With our shitty general, 03. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby and grab ourselves a snack. Oh! Go get him, Provence. You got this shit. Hey, Kent has converted to Catholic. And that's all we can do, I think. Yeah, we can't do Meath because it has religious zeal. Am I right? Yeah. But it ends next March. Nice. Oh, man, the timing there was just excellent. And the other one we can't do is Gwynedd. Why can't we do Gwynedd? Because we're coring it. Oh, okay, well, that, that makes sense. Wow, Provence got annihilated. 12 versus 15, and he got wiped. He got fucking stack wiped. Wow. Brutal. Okay. Pentacook is done. That's actually really good for us. Uh, we could squeak in a couple more colonies here. I guess we probably should. But go group up. Mm, should cut England off here. Yeah, cut England off. That's kind of important. We'll do our best to cut him off at the knees. The bee's knees? No, just just the knees. The knees, man, the knees. Mm -hmm. Nice. Probably gonna go to Siena. Go to the capital. No, where is he going? The capital? Looks like he might be going to the capital. I don't know. Let's find out. No, he's going to Siena. Alright. That should be the end of that army. Hopefully. No, he actually fought. Wow. Cherik is westernizing. Okay. Goodbye, army. Okay, good. Now we can actually start pooping out sieges. So let's do that. What is this? Tuscan peasants. Psh, whatever. Oh, fuck. Alinson is attacking over here. Are you kidding me? You're not even kidding me. I wish you were. Oh, we won. You won. Good job. And the army was obliterated. Nice. Beautiful. All right, what's our missions these days? Grand fleets. 20 heavy ships or anything else that we've seen the, that we've seen before that we're not interested in. Nah. It's too bad Naples lost their cores on Ancona and Abruzzi. Otherwise, they would have been very easy to just give them in this war. We're going to have to actually take the overextension and sell them. But that's okay, because we can sell Ile de France as well. Uh, that'll put us down to a whopping zero overextension when Gwynedd finishes. So I think it'll be okay. We will have a lot of OE for Barcelona, but that's fine. Barcelona is so worth it. Barcelona is an amazing province. Now, did you finish converting it? You did not. I should have let him finish converting it. 
Oh well. Oh shit, rebels are on the march. No, they're not. Why do I keep investing in that guy? He's so old. But I have extra points, so whatever. Uh, Perennio's done. Great. So go sit in Mercia. Wow, I'm surprised Denmark's not up here sieging all this shit. He's instead sieging down here, which I guess works as well. And as long as he takes some land, he'll still be able to integrate Norway. Hmm. Well, we'll see what's available after he's done sieging stuff. Inca's westernizing, that's fine, no one cares. God, Inca must be very sad that no one gives a shit because he's westernizing. He's like, boo-hoo, no one cares. I read this wrong. I thought it said Jaime Burrito, but it doesn't. It says Jaime... Jaime Brito, not Jaime Burrito. Nah, whatever. You know what, though? The conclusion of this war, or these wars, are going to have to wait until next time. I didn't realize how long we've been going. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time where we'll try to get some people out of the coalition. Uh, I want to annex France, or at least certain parts of France. I guess I should fabricate a claim on Maine, so it'll be cheaper to take that. Uh, but yeah, I'll have to see you guys next time. Have a good day.